Hi there, Evolution again. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to get into a, a smart headlight. This one's from a 4.4. The uh, 451 uh, 450 headlights, both very similar. Uh, get yourself a nice thin blade screwdriver. Uh, there's a few metal clips around the outside, just lever them off. As you leave them, make sure you hold them, because otherwise they will spring out straight into your eyes without fail. Go around and make sure they're all gone. Just like that. Alright, with the clips off, all we've got to do now is heat the, uh, the back of the headlight up. Because the, the front part's actually held in with uh, like a, a black mastic sealant, it never sets. So what we have to do is just heat it up just so it releases the uh, front lens just enough so we can pry it out. And uh, without it smashing the bits hopefully, we're going to need a heat gun, stick it on maximum, it's not piss about. Uh, we want to heat the, the back of the headlight around the outside where the mastic sits. We don't want to heat the front up as uh, we don't want it deforming, bubbling, melting. So we just need to put this on and uh, evenly heat it up. Right, that should be enough. Get yourself a, a screwdriver or, or a, any flatted tool. Stick it in and start twisting. Just work along the edge. Just to release the mastic a bit. Once you release one side, get your fingers behind it and carefully pull it away. And it'll slowly release. And there you go. Got the the clear light protector off. And what you'll find is some of the mastic will probably have stretched and got onto the uh, onto the reflector part. What you do is just get a little bit of the, the mastic. Just dab it on the area where the mastic's not where you want it to be. And off it comes. Okay, so now we have a nice clean reflector area. What we need to do now is in the front corner here, there's a torque screw T20. Remove the T20 screw. And then pull the whole headlight forward. Don't lose the screw. And there you go, you have the, the reflector cover off. Again, if there's any of the mastic stuck to the other side of it, just get a lump of the mastic and Dab away at it. 
and it comes off. Right, let's cover out to matte silver. You can take a wet and dry sandpaper to it, sand it down, prime it, spray it to match the car. We can buy a ferric chloride, which is an acid they use to etch uh, printed circuit boards. You mix it up with a bit of water, stick it in a bag, leave it overnight, you come back, uh, and all of the this chrome crap will have uh, been lifted off it, dissolved. The plastic underneath will be fine. Just rinse it, and then you're ready to uh, prime it, spray it, ready for, for the car. Leave it a good 24 hours after spraying for the, uh, the paint to have set properly before you put it back in the car. Uh, once you've placed it back in, screwed it back in, use a, a tack cloth, clean the inside of everything, just make sure there's no dust in it. Gently heat the outside very quickly with uh, with heat gun, just to soften up the, the mastic again. Replace the the clear cover and uh, make sure it's all pushed in properly. And replace the clips and you're ready to go.